Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is Dorflane. Today guys we have a new video about Summoner's World. Today we're gonna have a look at the solo R5 teams I have and uh, guys it's not gonna be a, like a 10 seconds B team and so on. Um, I'm not free to play so I don't really need that. So this video is mostly for people that actually I'm gonna roll this for people that are not free to play well they are free to play <laughs> what am i saying they're free to play and they don't care about having a 10 second r5 team one minute it's around one minute average my time 50 seconds probably which is still pretty fast but it's not like gonna destroy my whole um what's the name my crystals is not gonna just delete the crystals like that now i'm gonna show you how it works a little bit actually I should probably show you the rules instead of how it works but yeah uh let's start the video by saying that guys don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it's free and support the channel a whole lot so if you can please hit the sub button uh it really really helps really 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 helps now uh r5 team solo r5 team teams uh guys this is what i work what i use i was thinking about building a 30 second team and then i realized i couldn't be asked I couldn't be asked because I don't need that fast of a team first then I didn't want to build how many how many units 16 units speed to and all of them I didn't want to do any of that so what did I do I started experimenting I started using the, t the units that I was already using in some scenarios and I just put them in the teams now a few tips I want to give you with the teams is have some cleanser i feel like having at least one cleanser per team well not at least but like having one cleanser yeah my best time was 27 seconds um i think that was a fast team though i think this average team is this uh, team is average like 50 seconds if uh, if they don't actually go super like you know non-smart but the good thing well good things to have in the teams is are uh, cleanser every every team should have a cleanser if they heal as well that's pretty good if they don't it's not as good but they should all have cleanser um, few important debuffs that you need to have in your teams in your um, yeah at least, well at least a couple in the all of the teams defense break attack break if you have a glancing debuff it's pretty good slow debuff whatever uh, important the most important debuff you need to have in your teams you need to have a couple at least is your block here block is absolutely important guys I do have some five stars I'll try to mention some four stars that do the same job but I'm not sure I will be able to so bear that in mind I think I will be able to but we'll see about that but don't forget most important debuffs in this solar fight is heal block in my opinion yes defense break obviously you need defense break you need attack break glancing debuff crazy good because your team survive better uh, if you don't have heal block in your team guess what the monster the boss is gonna heal back and guess what you're not gonna kill it ever so try to have a couple of heal blocks i've uh, i've colleen that has heal block I'm pretty sure who has heal block. Another unit has heal block. Oh, the fire panda has heal block on skill three, so that's pretty good. This is not looking good though. Um, and also like try to have maybe some because uh, it doesn't have your block, so that's pretty bad. Um, try to have also a couple of, uh, as I said, cleanser and healer. So you know, and also try to have some good resistance on your unit. That would be that would actually help. That would actually help. Now I'm gonna show you the rooms of my units and I'm, tr I'm gonna try to mention some of the four stars that can actually uh, replace the five stars. Now we have two two runs, uh, average time 53 seconds. These are on, yeah, it's around 50 seconds anyway. So here the only one you should, actually no, this is a free to play. This is, a, this is fusible, this is free to play team. It's not even 40, level 40, but I should be in 40, level 40. Um, the only five star I'm using that are not free to play are these three. I'm pretty sure because everything else is free to play. Yes, Kaki, Dofla Kaki is not free to play. It's a four stars. Everyone should have Kaki. Um, if you don't have Kaki, use a damage dealer that has defense break. You're gonna be fine. 
Is any damage dealer that has defense trait, you're gonna be fine. If you have Perna, actually Perna would be good. If you have Perna instead of Kaki, go for Perna. It doesn't have defense trait. Uh, she does have the heals though. So Perna instead of Kaki actually pretty uh, a lot better. I have Perna, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try Perna, but Kaki works really well because your your AI so self sustain. There's another defense break, you know. So, but there is enough defense breaks. So you don't think you need Kaki for defense break. I think Perna is better, but also Perna is not free to play, is it? So let's start with the Raviti. Raviti is like this. It's on will broken. It just need to be on will. Uh, it's not on full resistance. It's just like that. Why Rabbit is good, removes all harmful effects on all the lights and grants immunity on the lights with no harmful effect to be removed for two turns. There is a cleanser. Afterward, creates a shield that's proportional to your defense on all the lights for three turns and has sustained. So, skill to attack the enemy decreases the target attack bar. It doesn't matter, but the most important thing on Rabbit is this the shield, the cleanse, and the immunity if there is nothing to cleanse. So, either they get immunity or he cleanses. It doesn't do, it doesn't do damage. It doesn't do damage, it does increase attack power, it doesn't do damage though. The important thing is the skill free. Uh, I need to, well, if you can skill him up, it's better, but it works like that already. Anyway, so it's probably his skill up, it's probably gonna be a, a little bit of faster, uh, clear time, but nothing, nothing more than that. Also, guys, I don't have my thing speed tuned, so you know, I'm, I'm a lazy person. This works. I'm not gonna optimize it because 50 seconds for me average time is enough. So I'm not gonna be uh, bothered about it. it. This is it. Like it's a free-to-play team. This Raviti doesn't even have an artifact on the right side. I should put an artifact on the right side. I mean, it becomes tankier, right? So I'm mad as well. Uh, Fran is on violent will. I'm gonna show the runes. They're not even grinded. Not all of them but obviously um speed proportion loss hp is pretty good defense proportion loss hp is good uh recovery skill free will be good as well um but yeah like focus on speed some uh, hp and defense like make her tanky some accuracy is good because she has attack break on skill one uh overall though like she doesn't need insane runes five panda is like this violent will again i mean will runes for the solo art five is actually pretty important the five pan is not even maxed on this I would like to max his skill free because the skill free is actually really good because it has the heal block, uh, he has a lot of debuffs, the glancing and so on. So it's really important to, well, it's not really important, but it would be really good to max this skill free. Um, most important thing why I'm using the fire panda is the cleanse on skill two and uh, heal buff, you know, recovery buff and defense break on skill one. So heal block, other debuffs, yes, uh, cleanse, heal, and skill one defense break again guys violent will not fully grinded to be honest with you um, I was trying to go for some resistance but it, there's no point in my opinion because it works like this already so I couldn't be asked additional damage is good because honestly he has uh, multi hits and skill one and skill three uh, I mean crit damage this is a weird artifact he shouldn't have this he should not have this artifact but hey it works so i'm not gonna be bothered it's working like this it's gonna stay like this i'm just gonna show you that this is a free to play team it's not it's a free to play team you don't need insane runes the hua is not even max to be honest with you um decrease attack speed and continuous damage okay uh but yeah it's swift swift and then attack crit damage attack not grinded Artifacts, additional damage by speed, additional damage on uh, Hua works anyway. This is not even max, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you that it's a free to play team, and also I'm gonna show you overall what kind of runes you need on your team. That's the main reason why I'm showing you my runes, it's not because I wanna show you how terrible my runes are, but I'm gonna show you that this can be done from a free to play player. It doesn't require anything insane. Uh, now, Naomi, right? Yeah, Naomi is on violent, will attack, crit damage, attack. She doesn't need high crit rate because the passive 
allows her to uh, crit if the enemy has um, harmful effect. Inflicted damage also will be increased by 20% for each harmful effect granted on the enemy. So the more debuffs the enemy has, the more damage she does and also she always gonna crit. You can, you can have zero crit rate on her and she's gonna crit if the enemy has defense break. So that's important thing, additional damage by anything is good for her crit damage in skill 4 is terrible because she doesn't have a skill 4 so yeah that should not be there and also this guy can is also pretty pretty good he does a lot of damage he has the um, he has branding right yes the branding debuffs so it's pretty good it's pretty good for this i have him on rage will is on uh attack crit damage attack not grinded again uh, but yeah, like focus on HP, like all your damage dealers, they should be decently, decently, like they should be able to stand a hit, like to take a hit and not die. But overall, like additional damage also on the, on the can is actually pretty good. So go additional damage. Okay, now fire monkey is a now five. I don't know which unit you can use instead of fire monkey. I use fire monkey because cannot be stunned. He's tanky, he has defense break, has self, wait, yeah, he has self heal, um, so yeah, he has defense break most of it, and also gets resistance from this and attack power increase from the passive, but mostly because you can build the fire monkey tanky and still do a lot of damage, he cannot be stunned also, so I feel like fire monkey is really good. I'm thinking about Rigel, uh, could be a good option for the R5, I feel like Water Leech could be really good for R5 as well because also has defense break on skill 2. He can build a vampire. He gets attack bar when he gets he get glanced on. So yeah, I feel like he has low debuff as well on skill 1. So I feel like Water Monkey Water Monkey Water uh, Leech would substitute the monkey. You can build the water leech like in the same way. Vampire uh, Revenge Vampire will HP crit damage HP HP crit damage attack attack crit damage attack whatever gives you the best outcome go for it additional damage is good um, crit damage on skill two will be good as well but honestly for the leech if you're going water leech additional damage is also better than the for the fire monkey because the water leech has multi hit so it's going to do more damage. So Water Leech will work instead of the uh, Fire Monkey, go for a bit more accuracy, but overall, like, make it tanky with crit damage. Fangian also, another unit that is not free to play. I don't know how you would uh, substitute, like, how, you know, I don't know who else I would put instead of the Fangian, because honestly, he has defense break, he has the cleanse for himself, he has the heal. Yeah, he does decent damage and also is really tanky. So I don't know who else I would use in the, instead of Fangian, but you can go with a tanky unit in the front. It's going to do the same thing that Fangian does. You can go with another, well, if you have Dark Panda, go Dark Panda. He has defense break as well. But overall, like, Fangian is pretty, pretty good. You could go for... Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about it while I talk about other stuff, but also like I I'll mention who I would choose instead of Fengan in a second. I'll think about it. But Fengan is like that violent will. It's just a tank to be honest with you, and it also has defense break, but it's just a tank at the front um, that can tank it. Like literally, Wind Monkey could do the same thing. Now, uh, Velajul is insane because also you need a cleanse in the second team as well and Velajul is there for that. You should build Velajul maybe on high res so if the enemy, any, everything else gets done, Velajul can cleanse you all. So you should probably try to go high res on Velajul. If you don't have Velajul, I would use Konamiya. Konamiya is insane, it's a 2 star, it's pretty to play, build the same way, high res. Um, that's my Velajul, speed, defense, defense. Artifacts are like this, defense proportion, loss HP, additional damage. Uh, honestly, they are random artifacts, I'm not gonna lie. They are random artifacts, and this is how Velajul is, uh, is built. He has defense break on skill 2, which is pretty good, but honestly, is that for the class. And Konamiya would do the same exact thing. Uh, Kakia would build him on violent, but I use him in arena offense. He's built pretty well, not gonna lie, he's built pretty well. This, what is this? No, okay. Uh, it's ruined decently well, um, but I use him in arena, so that's the reason why he has a lot of attack. 
it works pretty well in uh, R5, solo R5, but if you have Perna, I feel like Perna could be better because Perna AOE heals and also revive, right? But uh, Kaki works pretty well as well. If you don't have Perna, use Kaki. Kaki, I mean, everyone should have Kaki to be honest with you. Colleen is the other unit, Valiant Revenge. I'm trying to speed it up because I, I realized that uh, the, the video is taking forever. Uh, not grinded as well. Uh, the speed proportion of HP is good because she becomes fast and recovery speed skill free is actually pretty good because obviously, you know, heals. Uh, defense break, sorry, attack break on skill 1 is actually really, really good for Colleen. And the heal block on skill 2 is actually insane because heal block, in my opinion, again, is the most important. Uh, debuffs in solo R5. Accuracy, try to get some accuracy, but overall, try to make a tanky. Um, that's HP, okay. Try to make a tanky. Oh, that's defense, okay. And uh, decently fast and with some accuracy, so she can land She can land the debuffs. Now, Xiaolin, I used to use Xiaolin when the normal R5 was up, and you needed Xiaolin if you didn't have any cracked Nap 5, so that's why I have her built vampire HP crit damage attack try to go like decently tanky with okay speed high crit rate you don't need that much crit rate because you have crit rate buff actually you have 81 means that she has a hundred crit rate which is good uh, overall she does a lot of damage guys she this one this thing does a lot of damage um, increase the inflicted damage by 15% for each harmful effect on the enemy. This skill includes a bad, well, she revenges, right? Um, decrease the attack power by 15. Okay, so she, she does more damage. The more debuffs the enemy has, the more damage she does. Additional damage on her is good for the artifacts because obviously she, um, she has multi hits, right? So, might as well do additional damage. Anything else is like whatever. Whatever, whatever, deep, whatever artifacts. I put artifacts on this unit mostly for the main stats. I'm not gonna lie. Now, under 30, my Vicaru, and I use this Vicaru on the um, Dragon Team, Trickery Team, and is on Double Guard, Broken Runes, is on Defense, 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 and is not grinded. The artifacts are weird, but it works. It works. And also I have Freya. Freya is the um, the cleanser on the on the third team. Freya the cleanser on the third team, and I built it on uh, tolerance. No wait, accuracy runes because obviously you need defense break. But Freya is there to die and heal back everybody and cleanse. That's why Freya is there. Uh, Rook is there as well on attack, crit damage, attack. With like no really good runes, additional damage is good on rogue. Skill one uh, accuracy will be good on rogue. Crit damage will be good on rogue on skill one. But overall, like attack crit damage attack, good accurate, good crit rate, um, and so on. It gets 23 plus 19 percent. It gets 42 percent crit rate. So 64 is more than enough. You know, is more than enough. Kali is that is Kali has attack buff. It does a lot of damage. You know. Invincibility, crit rate buff. So Kali is there because of all of that. Attack, crit damage, attack, additional damage by attack should be there. Is not. Uh, is there on the left? <laughs> Artifact, crit damage skill too would be nice on uh, Kali as well. Uh, Crow is like this. Rage will obviously Crow does a lot of damage. So I mean on attack, crit damage, attack. Rage is the best way to go. Um, cause it does damage base wave. Increase by 50% for each harmful effect on enemy. So rage will scale the damage more than fatal boot. So um, it's just damage dealer. And also there is a lower end that has a block and skill too. You know, so speed, HP, HP, nothing insane here. And also have accuracy skill one and accuracy skill two. Cause I didn't have, um, well, I kind of have max accuracy, but you know, uh, I don't have a left artifact, but that honestly works guys. So, I couldn't really be asked. Uh, instead of Fengyan, I didn't think about what you could use, but I, f I feel like anything that can tank it, uh, Wind Monkey can tank that, 
And thing about wind unit bar, you can use anything really. You can use Vigor to be honest with you. Vigor has your block on skill one as well. He has the heal, he has the anti crit, he has a speed buff, he has different fake on skill skill free. So I feel like Vigor would work actually pretty pretty well instead of Fangan and instead of Valajul you can use Konamiya. It's just as good. Also instead of Fire Monkey you can use Water Leech. Um is really good. Defense paid every other turn. <laughs> Tuck the target three times, decrease the defense for 35%. It goes up with the skill ups, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and it's okay, so yeah, that's it. But also, gains immunity against inability. So it can't be stunned. Increase your attack bar by 20% whenever you receive an attack that doesn't land as a critical hit. So if they don't crit, if the boss doesn't crit on Rigel, it gets attack bar, attack bar increased by 20%. It gets a low turn. You can heal with vampire runes, so that works as well. Uh, yeah. Guys, Perna or Kaki doesn't matter. This is my solo team, guys. It doesn't require any god runes. But yeah, it's some decent runes and decent, um, you know, you need clans, you need a block and so on. Guys, that's gonna be it for the video. That was a long one, I'm sorry. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it helps. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment below if you have any question. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye everybody, take care guys, stay safe, bye.